Oh, he's really smart. Uh, very, very intelligent. Uh, he's an effective communicator. Uh, he can get his point across very quickly and efficiently. Um, you know, in, in the backgrounds of talking to the coaches that worked at Kentucky and some other people just in, in, in reference calls, just they just jumped on the table for him and, and spoke about his integrity, um, what he means you know, to their program, and I think everybody at Kentucky is sad that he's leaving, you know, but they know this is a great opportunity for him. You feel like now things will start to smooth out as a department here, uh, you know, in the athletic department, that things, you know, there can be some stability now in the future? Yeah, maybe that's a perception on the outside. As coaches, you know, the, this athletic department, whether it was Pat or Mike, had provided us with everything, so I think the, you know, the fact that we have someone that's coming in that can continue what those guys have laid the foundation of will be, a, a, is, is exciting for us, and I think he's going to be here for a long time. Do you envision uh, big things for the football program specifically, like going forward? Like, like one in the Pac-10 and, and... No, no, like facilities up nah, you know, there. You know, I think, you think about this... No, nah, I worry about my job. You know, so I think some people go worry about too many other things. Is my job is to prepare this football team both on and off the field, and that's it. And, and uh, that's up for other people to do. And I think that's the great thing is we got a guy in place who, if the, if that's something that needs to be done, that he can take care of that. Any, uh, would you guys talk about any, anything particular What's that? that you guys talked about today? He said he talked with you about it. Just what's your conversation? No, I met. I think he met. I, I didn't talk to him oh. today. I met, I talked to him. Uh, I met him when we went to San Francisco. I was part of the search committee that went to San Francisco and interviewed him extensively there. And then we interviewed him again all day yesterday in Portland. And then I talked to him briefly last night after he was off with the job. So. Sure. To your thoughts about the San Francisco meeting, what, what impression did you come away with? You know, the first and foremost, when you meet him, he's really, really smart. You know, and I, I think he has a, a great understanding. He's got a tremendous background. He's been very judicious in where what he is going to do next in his job. You know, he was offered the Miami job and turned it down. Um, he, he's got a great background and, and coming from a BCS, a couple BCS schools, being at Miami, being at uh, Maryland, and then being at Kentucky, and then really talking to Coach Brooks the other day, and then I talked to John Calipari the other day and some other people from IMG that dealt with him. And, and unlike any other candidate, he, people just are jumping on the table for the guy, you know, and, and saying just unbelievable things about him. But I think he has a great sense of what this place is all about. Growing up in Morgantown, being in Lexington, Kentucky, is a lot like being in Eugene in, in that how much he wants to have the community involved in what this university is all about. And I think the word he used, and I'd never heard it before in the interview that kind of struck me, is that he used the word community, and that's what this is all about, is that the interaction that the fans have here with our football team, with our basketball program, with all the sports here, you know, is kind of, it's different than everywhere else in the Pac-10, I think, and that's what makes this place special. And I, you throw that on fact that he's really smart, he's got a business background, he was a CPA, he's worked outside in the, in the business world. Um, I, I think he brings everything you want in an athletic director, and he's, uh, you know, he's a real up-and-comer in this profession. A lot of people really spoke very, very highly of him, and we're excited to have him. So, I mean, honestly, was he, he your guy? He was my guy. Well, coming out of those interviews I, I, out of San Francisco, there was just something about him. You know, I think um, he's got exactly what you want in an athletic director. I also don't think, you know, in, in a nice way, he doesn't have an ego. I think he just wants to create an environment in the athletic department where everybody has a chance to be successful and then kind of get out of your way and let you coach concerned that he hasn't run a department? No, because when you talk to the people at Kentucky, he really did the hands-on day-to-day stuff there and has managed buzzards and, you know, dealt with Rich Brooks, dealt with John Calipari, and, and both those guys jumped on the table for him. So this was Monday? Well, it was Monday. Monday the San Francisco meeting? No, so we were in San Francisco uh, last weekend, Friday and Saturday. Yeah.